Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you top 7 popular small leather goods from Louis Vuitton that I won't recommend it. This is just share my personal experience and let you guys know which item that I don't recommend it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So small leather goods we also call SLGs. So in this video, I will use SLGs instead of a full name. So the first SLG that I won't recommend it is this piece. This is the Louis Vuitton 4 key holder. I purchased this one about like two or three years and I now I use this one. After I use this one, I realized that I actually made a mistake to have this one. Now I do have a video to compare the six key holder to the four key holder I have the full details including the capacities and uh, pros and the cons for both items so you can check it out I will link the video in my description box the reason I don't recommend this piece between those two pieces only $40 difference however the six key holder is a much versatile and functional piece than the four Four key holder. It is a six key holder, but you can see I put it more than six keys, including my car key. I have no problem to close this one. And plus, in the middle section, it has the slip pocket. This pocket you can put a couple of the credit card without any problem. But for the four key holder, capacity is a very limited. Plus, in the middle of the section, if you put a credit card in the middle of the slip pocket you cannot close because that thing cannot reach to the button right there because the credit card was uh, bigger than this pocket so it's stuck there and then you cannot close it. so this is another con for this one for the capacity the six key holder can hold a lot more than the four key holder so that's the reason if you are deciding to buy or you are debating which one to go I highly highly recommend it go for the six key holder instead of the four key holder this is the first SLG that I won't recommend it so moving on the next Next item is this piece. Now this piece I understand that so many people has it and so many people love but of course half of the other people just don't think it worth to purchase including myself. The one I have it also in the monogram was the Fisher's Leather combination and the, this one they come other print like most popular one is a reverse mono which is so so beautiful i almost purchased that one as well however i come down think about it you know it is really not much uh, capacity compared with the other car holder like the ysl so you can see they only have this front have one pocket and the back have one pocket and the middle has a one pocket so it's a total only have a three pocket and the compare with other car holder from other fashion house they have more capacity than this one but the price also similar other thing is this one like a YSL it's a full leather and this one is the converse so really we are pay for the Louis Vuitton name instead of the actual item so between those two I will highly highly recommend it go for the leather one go for the YSL or go for the Gucci Gucci have the similar car holder with the same price point so why you spend the money for this one has the less capacity and also it's a less functionable items so this is another piece that I won't recommend it for you to buy moving on the next item is this uh, back charm so I do have uh, two pieces in my collection this is my worst purchase in my collection and that's why I will definitely not recommend you to buy this one Louis Vuitton every year they will come out the Christmas animation collection they always have the uh, back charm and a lot of people 
go purchase the worst part is this back charm over the year the, the shape will change it just bend it so this is the thing I don't think you know worth to purchase rather you can purchase some like a metal one uh, I feel it's a much better than this the uh, uh, back charm that it's not a cheap one for the cost per wear also not worth to purchase therefore I won't recommend you buy this piece as well so this is another piece moving on the next item that I won't recommend it is this wallet now this is also considered my worst purchase and this is the caption wallet and now that I don't love this wallet I love this wallet as well but I think this is a waste to buy it because this one is a very similar with the Victorian wallet however Louis Vuitton caption items whether it's the full-size wallet or compact wallet they are so so expensive compared with the Victorian wallet they almost have the same function as the Victorian wallet but when you look at the inside the leather this is the smooth leather and this is like a, a also very durable leather it won't scratch so easily even though the outside leather is a, a one is the unpunk leather and the other one is also like a very durable leather like a pebble leather but I can tell the unpunk leather is so much durable than this type of the leather I've been using non-stop for past two years and I'm still using just don't feel like to change the other wallet because it is so so nice this is a more value for the money and this one is uh, so expensive this is uh, another item that I won't recommend it if you really wanted to buy compact wallet I will highly recommend it go for the Victorian wallet I really like beating up this wallet so much and I do have some wear and tear I will do the wear and tear after three years this wallet I after I use things I'm talking about the caption wallet so I will definitely talk about the full size of the caption wallet which is even more expensive so this is another item that I won't recommend it nowadays our lifestyle changed and people carry less and less item in their handbags so the full size wallet is not very popular right now I don't know in the future it will come back or not but I think I kind of doubt it because once your lifestyle change you hardly to change it back because you more enjoy the life has a less item to carry and you don't want to go back to the past like a carry whole kitchen thing so I kind of doubt it the lifestyle will change it back to carry more and more stuff so full size wallet is another item especially for the caption full size wallet it is so expensive over thousand dollars wallet I would recommend you to buy the Felicia pouch that one is a more versatile and more functional because the Felicia pouch you actually can use as a bag as a wallet as a clutch it's more versatile than the caption wallet so the caption full-size wallet is another item that I won't recommend it moving on number six is this wallet this is another full size wallet this is the zippy wallet which is back to uh, like 10 years ago this wallet is so so popular and nowadays as I mentioned lifestyle change I won't recommend it to buy this wallet anymore first of all it is very pricey it is very very expensive and the second when you open the wallet it has so many credit card spot it has so many compartments just way too much things uh, going on for this wallet so if you really want to purchase a full-size wallet then I will highly highly recommend it go get the command wallet this wallet is uh, more reasonable because it has credit card slots it has a bill compartment it has a middle a compartment for the points very clean and uh, good enough for your every days and the price point is so much better than the zippy wallet 
you can save so much money to buy the same functional wallet so between those i will highly recommend it to get the command wallet instead of the zippy wallet so zippy wallet i think it's not worth to purchase anymore unless you really have like 20 30 credit card you need to carry every single day then go for it but other than that i think the zippy wallet i will never recommend you to buy so this is another piece now we are talking about the number seven which is not in my collection but i will never ever recommend you to buy that it is the cell phone cover and they are not cheap i believe it started 450 dollars every year they come the new models a lot of people like to change the cell phone every two years or three years so once they change the size also change the camera position also changed when you spend so much money to buy once your cell phone changed then your cover has to change if you try to sell those kind of things resale value is so low so i would never recommend you to buy i don't know how you guys think will you purchase those items that i mentioned in today's video or do i missing any item that you think should not purchase please leave a comment below i would love to see it so that's all about today's video i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you in the next video thanks bye